So I'm in the car with a uh, like 12 elephant people. It's a big car, and we're going on a staff retreat to Shambhala Mountain Center. Shambhala Mountain Center is top 10 retreat in the entire country according to USA Today. It's beautiful. It's up in the Rocky Mountains. We're driving through uh, right now a very snowy, icy winter's day, but soon we'll be in the unspoiled wilderness that is Shambhala Mountain Center. So it's a place where you can go all year, anytime, whether you're a newbie or if you're fully enlightened, and uh, do a little meditation retreat. You can eat delicious food. They have unlimited free sriracha, which is my, you know, the reason I go regularly. And um, really bad coffee, hopefully they improve that. So basically, Shambhala Mountain Center is huge in the summer, super small retreat in the winter. And uh, there's photos of me in diapers up there. Um, it's, you know, a place that's been around for 40 years. Not that I'm nearly that old. So we're gonna do a cool film and try and cover all the different things. There's a 108 foot rocket ship called the Great Stupa of Dharmakaya, which liberates upon seeing. And it's not a rocket ship, it's a traditional Buddhist monument. It's the largest in America, in the West. Um, and I used to work there for many years, and so I was involved in fundraising for the buildings that we'll be staying in. There's two beautiful lodges, hotels, and, uh, horses and unfortunately no hot springs that's the one big drawback other than the coffee it's like we're going to the shiny why don't you just go down the window and hotel with no service uh. nothing but white clouds no blizzards What is Shambhala Mountain Center, for those mm -hmm. who don't know? Our mission statement is to be a, a contemplative retreat center for the exploration of individual and societal wisdom. You guys, just t take, give yourself a moment. Think about like your good and hard parts of your life. And then people can do all kinds of different programs if they come. And then people can also do individual retreats. You can just uh -huh. come up here on a getaway retreat in Renault right. and uh, design your own thing. So it has this capacity to take people, you know, however they want to be here, uh -huh. um, as long as they're engaging in some kind of contemplative path. You know, I think a lot of times people feel a sense of gratitude for the space. The space is very powerful, and if you come here with the mind to appreciate the space, then uh, interesting things can happen. Well, and the energy of the land is one that uh, kind of invites uh, a sense of looking up and feeling big sky, mm -hmm. feeling the energy of the space. So what we're going to do is just go like this from here to the next staircase, and just like you, like you were a baby like a newborn baby, but just think of uh, just the preciousness of, this, of being human in this, in this time of year. My name is Joshua Mulder, and this is the Great Stupa of Dharmakaya, which liberates upon seeing. It's a monument to that sort of lineage of sanity, and uh, basically a monument to human kindness. It's all been built by volunteers. We've been working on it about 28 years. So the people that were working on this project were doing it out of a sense of devotion. And I think that's what was really unique. Now it's been um, 13 years. And when I see it, uh, I'm kind of amazed that, did I really have anything to do with that? You know, in terms of people coming and visiting the stupa, um, I was I was kind of amazed because you know when we were working on the stupa, people would say, "Oh, this is called the Great Stupa of Dharmakaya, which liberates upon seeing." And I thought, well, that's you know kind of a nice idea. Yeah. But then you know I've seen how it affects people, and people do come, and uh, you know I see that the effort and love that we put into the project actually deeply affects people. And there's something about it um, that we've actually created this kind of uh, 
very potent, powerful place that people come and they, they leave different. Yeah, to me as like a uh, business person, that's one of the most interesting things in a weird way about the stupa is I want to be like, how can I apply how you all worked day to day to how we work? You try and give people an open, you know, an open situation so that they can apply their own creativity right. and, and uh, to feel personally a part of it, not just doing your job. Mr. Gaynor, thank you again. Well, Mr. Long-time friend. <clears throat> Pleasure. Thanks for your uh, generosity. You're very, very welcome. Yeah. Alrighty. What are you doing right at the end there? Is that a little lumta thing, or are you just having a moment of space? Uh, I do a thing with energy. Yeah. Um, and I then like kind of settle it. And Almost like lumta. Yeah. Yeah, part of it is just aligning the body right. Yeah. We yeah. do that, but we don't have that moment of space right at the mm -hmm. end. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a, the point in some sense, because you bow and you're doing a yoga where first you're taking your seat and you're kind of offering, expressing gratitude, then you're taking your seat, having given and arising in the confidence. Mm -hmm. And then the idea is you taste that mind. You take a moment to taste that mind. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the fruitional part. Right. That was, that was the, uh, that's like the 15 seconds we'll use. <laughs> right at the end. There we go. <laughs>